Well, this is a garden update here in Nashville, Tennessee, aboard the floating platform garden. And I'll tell you, our blackberries are just, they're just going crazy. I mean, crazy, crazy, crazy. So much they're just bending the boughs right over with blackberries. And we have picked probably about five pints, or quarts, I mean, of blackberries already. And I mean, and you can still see them by the tons in here. I mean, they're just, they're just everywhere that need to be picked. But we're going to let them get a little sweeter. We got tomatoes like crazy. These Roma tomatoes are doing good. So are these little cherry tomatoes. And they're, they're due to get, <laughs> the cherry tomatoes don't last too long because I pluck them and eat them as fast as they grow. They're like candy. Oh, man. And uh, our blueberries. <clears throat> we got some blueberries. Here's some over here and some over here. Ooh, there's a big fat one hiding back in there. And then uh, the tomatoes. <laughs> Look at the clusters and clusters of tomatoes that are on their way. Time for some fried green tomatoes at the house. <clears throat> and uh, the raspberries out front, they are just growing like crazy. I cut out all the old dried stuff that produced fruit this year, and now the new stuff is growing like crazy. And, uh, well, let me give you a a quick trip out there and show you what I'm talking about right here look at how nice and I pruned these back even I've even cut them back a little bit and they're still just growing like crazy and again the blackberries what is what's not red look at this big dude hanging down here holy mackerel they're just all over the place so we couldn't be happier with the outcome of the garden. And one thing I have found out that if you take care of your garden and you put it in one of these grow bag systems, and by the way, the cucumbers, we have been picking cucumbers like crazy. And you gotta, you gotta really pay attention because if you don't look under every leaf, you'll find a cucumber the size of a football, which we found a few of those. And I just threw a few tomatoes in this tub over here. I was going to give them away and I could never find anybody that wasn't too busy to put in a garden. So now I've got monster tomatoes growing on this thing. But if you uh, you take care of your garden and love it, it'll love you right back. Like for instance, here's a tomato here that I just picked today and I noticed that this tomato here is in love with me also. <laughs> I don't know. This is, a, this is a tomato that loves you right back. What do you think of that? instantly I think this is a uh, sick and perverted garden I'm not really sure but either way this is an update from Nashville Tennessee everything is just growing like crazy we're picking stuff as fast as we can we're eating it in salads uh, peppers mama's got some peppers hanging on here she's already picked off she she eats them yellow peppers as fast as they I try to talk her out of letting them get bigger but she picks them off takes them in the house eats them with sandwiches and and the tomatoes are going great, the blueberries are going great, the blackberries are going nuts. I'm going to make some blackberry jam. And uh, this is our report here from Nashville, Tennessee, at the uh, grow bag system that just takes exactly the amount of water it wants because it's really hot here. It's in the 90s, it has been all week. And I got to fill them trays about twice a day. Fill them in the morning, then in the evening, fill them again. The next morning, they're right back down again. So, especially when they're making tomatoes, they really start sucking water then. And inside, uh, you can't really see it, but inside is clusters of tomatoes big as your fist. So, couldn't be happier. Talk to you soon. Steve Hall in Nashville, Tennessee. Send this out to my brother Larry Hall in Brainerd, Minnesota, the creator of the rain gutter grow system himself. Talk to you. Bye-bye.